Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 37 of Let's Play Terranigma, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, one of my loyal fans said that this LP would be done in 36 parts. Way off, buddy. Way, way off. Alright, so let's head back to Neural Lake and see Will. Hopefully he's doing alright now that we got the parts for him. Or at least he can now afford them. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen, Ark! It's finished! My airplane! Metal became available again! I should never give up my dreams! Ark, you try flying! On the runway, press A button. In flight, press L to descend and R to ascend. Press Y to accelerate. To land at any airfield, fly low and press A. Will made his airplane! It really flies great! He said he'll take Perel and everyone at Kid Skart up! Really? That, that sounds wonderful. But I get to use the plane first. You give it to me. Because he's a good man. He's good at giving me the plane. Now I get to fly it. And because of that, Freedom is now at level 3. Hey. Do you like Freedom? I love it. I was born and raised here. I didn't come here for your life story. Man, Freedom looks so much bigger as a result. And it's time for the lottery once again. We get a different prize. And let's see what that prize is going to be. My first one was like a piece of clothing that was useless. The second one was a Thunder Spear. And the third one, I guess we'll find out soon enough. And we've got a grand prize winner! And your prize is an X-Spear. And now the X-Spear does not have a lot of power. That's the bad news. The good news is it has a high crit rate. And crits usually do two to three times the amount of damage as a normal hit. So in other words, this is actually much better than what the spear actually mentions. And for that, I'm gonna have some plant sap. And for that, I got all my health back. But I don't have a lot of money, unfortunately. I better go see a couple people. Well, not you guys. I'm gonna go see whoopsie friggin' Bell. Hey, what's up? I'm getting orders for phones everywhere. I feel fulfilled. Maybe people can't go on anymore without hearing other people. You only realized. You only realized how much more powerful phones have become. In fact, they do so much they don't even use be used for calls anymore. Hello, I heard about you from Bell. Part of me? Didn't he say anything? I'm Bell's girlfriend. We were far apart, but Bell's phone kept us close. Thanks to it, we're. <laughs> Not gonna go there. I think I'm just gonna move on and uh, continue the course of the game. Actually, one more thing I can do before I actually get to use the plane for the first time. Well, actually, it'd be a good time to use it now. You press A on the runway. It kind of looks like pilot wings, but really it's not. Now we get to fly. I'm going to ascend. Hold Y so you can go pretty fast. In fact, most places will have, like, an air stick, Like a runway. Like that, for instance. But you can't exactly land anywhere. Actually, I think I am going to have to land. Because I wanted to go back to Nomaz to see Chija and all that. Just get that out of the way, get the Magirock, and then continue. But yeah, you did see another runway in Europe. That's where we need to go. The life of side quests just never end. Am I right? Get out of the way, stupid rock. But I'm doing it because I can. Let me speed that up. Just 
remember I gotta head for nomads. And it's right over here, I believe. Just gotta remember, it's like for that little girl. I think it was over here? She just gone! People who claimed to be her parents came for her! She's probably living happily in Yonku with them! Oh, really? Well, that's good news. So I was only here for a few seconds, wow. What a colossal waste of time. And I guess I can get back to Yonko to get that Magirock. Wasting my time for something I'll never use, wow. Aren't I special? I just hope I don't mess up on the Dragon Skulls. That's the most frustrating part. Actually, I'll just meet you back in Yonko. Give me a moment. Okay, that was a couple minutes, so now we're back to see the happy family. There is still some distance between us and Chija, but we intend to fill this gap slowly without hurry. We are forever in your debt. As a show of our gratitude, can we get you to accept this blue stone? Can you? <laughs> of course you can! Yay! Thank you all so much! I'm just gonna talk to one of you guys and I'm gonna leave. This magic rock will truly be appreciated. In fact, I will probably not put any pins or rings in them. Now let's just head back to freedom so I can finally just get back to flying. You gotta love fast forward. Alright, time to do this for real. No time, too. We shall fly to Musk. I mean, that's the only runway in Europe, apparently. I gotta land first. No, descend first, then land. Perfect landing! 100 points! You know, I tried to LP pilot wings. It didn't really work out for me, so I just gave up. Uh, I was pretty bad at it. Anyways, let's go to Siberia. Apparently, there's another cave. Let's see what's on the other side. Ooh, treasure! Block rod! Hmm. Okay, Black Rod is actually one of the special weapons. A strength of 50 changes strength into defense. So it gives you more defense, but it will make your attacks a little bit weaker. Because it's taking away your strength. It's the opposite of Enbu Pike. Like the direct opposite. Okay, there's nothing else here. That was a pointless tightrope. Whoever designed this, obviously... Must have been pro torture. That's like that left vine over at Air's Rock. Okay, we done a nice bit of side stuff. Now let's check out this town of Mosque. For more about Baruga, go to the disciples' quarters. You will come to understand Baruga's greatness. This is very strange. These look like cultists. The great Baruga will rise once again. He will create an eternal paradise in this world. I'm gonna go on a limb and assume that Mosk is really supposed to be Moscow. Those in white are white disciples who directly serve Baruga. It is a great honor to be chosen a white disciple serving Baruga. Man, these guys are obviously drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm going to be a white disciple when I grow up to help Dr. Baruga. Obviously, that's a picture of him right there. And he has glasses. Isn't that great? I mean, all of these cultists, like, on the outside, well, most of them will say the same stuff. Do you seek Baruga's word? Okay. Then enter the back room. A disciple will educate you. Let's learn what we can about this Baruga. 
The world is rife with corruption. Save us, Baruga! When Baruga awakens, the world will also arise. Have a seat and listen to Baruga's teachings. The sinners will always be tortured by guilt. Now let us pray to affirm our faith in Baruga. The portrait on the wall depicts Baruga. Really? I would have guessed the Easter Bunny. Baruga awaits in the ca at the castle in the lake in the south. Please, line up and hear the great words of Baruga. You guys are all sick. But nice hats. Or hoods. He is our savior, Baruga. Baruga is preparing to save this corrupted world. Man, they revere him as some kind of god. <coughs> I mean, not even my fanboys act like this. I do not fear death. I have total faith in Baruga's words. Baruga declared that an age when we no longer fear death shall come. Hey, death is not all that bad. Baruga is waiting quietly in the castle he built himself. When the time comes, he shall rise again to save the believers. Oh, but you guys seem to be doing alright. Do you really need his help that badly? Did Baruga leave this for me? All hail Baruga! I got a magic rock! Yay! Maybe I don't want to turn on him after all. If he's going to give me a magic rock. Red armor will fill you with strength. Hoo hoo hoo! Hmm, red armor. Don't mind if I... Don't. 6,660 gold? Dully coated with washes of blood. It increases your attack, but I think it lowers your defense, well, your base defense, and it takes away some of your total life, from what I read online. If you want it, go ahead, but you'll probably find better armor later. You may stay here if you wish. 50 gems! Screw that! In fact, everything here in Mosque is super expensive! More expensive than anywhere else. Okay, just to get over that, I think now's a good time to check out that castle. Oh, it's a lab. Oh, nice technology, I like it. Uh, can I use the elevator? Nothing's happening. Maybe the power's turned off. Well, it is dark. Okay, this is actually looking pretty interesting. We're in some kind of technological stronghold. How can I see through the darkness? Oh, wait a minute. Alright, press the switch. So now the power is back on. Well, the lights are on. But I don't think the power itself is on. Oh, robots! Okay, this is looking pretty awesome. They really turn it around compared to past dungeons, which seem more Middle Ages or Dark Ages. Now we're going to the future. I'm really liking where this is going. Strange, yes, but sucky, no. Get out of the way. Looks like I can crawl under here. But what's beyond? Well, the treasure box isn't ever changed. Soul armor! Okay, is it any good compared to, like, say, the red armor that I didn't buy? Deflects death curses. Well, it's better than what I got out now. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to get rid of something. Uh, vest armor can go. Silver vest can go. There, I just made a few extra spaces. Even though I don't think it'll be necessary. Oh, it looks like my max health increased, too. I just noticed it went to 303. Wait a minute. Robocop? Is that you? 
Hey, look, it's Robocop! And it looks like he has rollerblades on! Look at the way he glides! Robocop on rollerblades is the most awesome thing in the universe, the Gigaverse, the Ultraverse, and the Mega Terraverse, period. I mean, he just glides whenever he wants to dash in and attack you. Here, I'll show you. Look at that! Do not underestimate the Super Robocop. Even though I don't think that's its actual name, I think its name is Figurehead or something. But either way, they really stepped up their game bringing in this dungeon. I hope it's long as hell. But I don't think it is. At least they drop a decent amount of funds. Okay, I just pressed another switch. But what did that exactly do? Hmm, I wonder if I turned on the power. Because I hope I did. Oh, oh, I can't take this shortcut. Yep, I can see a chain's moving, so obviously I did turn on the power. Yeah, you get to walk! All of you, I will double your pay if you keep walking. Are you, like, giving yourselves manicures on the conveyor belts? Good job! Leave me alone. Wait, that's not where I want to go. The elevator's over here. Uh, do I want to go this way? Okay, I can't go up. I can go down, though. Okay, so no threads while I'm on the elevator, then. So it's not exactly like Chrono Trigger, where you can have battles on the elevator. Um, how far are we going? Oh, there we go. Well, this is starting to get very interesting. I, I do like where it's going. Okay, some boxes in the way I'll have to crawl under. Very, very, very long shaft, and I see a couple mechanisms right aside me. Okay, now I gotta fight these good jetpacks! Oh my god! I'm having a gasm at this moment. Enemies with jetpacks, rollerblade robocops. Can this get any better? I don't think it can. Would have been nice if I could gain a level, but still. What are these mechanisms, anyway? TELEPORTERS! Oh, man, I gotta stop the video here, because I'm starting to blow a load now. See ya, everybody. Stay tuned for the next part.